Hello Capricorn and welcome to your reading. We're going to do a romance reading so we'll see what's going on with you and the other party you're entangled with. Let's see where you were, where you're at, where you're going. Some advice, some outcome. What's going on in the shared energy between you two. Cards are already flipping out. I like it. Passion. Good place to start. Okay so this is for Capricorn Sun Moon Arising. Also, if you're dealing with a Capricorn and you're watching, then cross watcher, the message might actually be for you. And then um, anytime you guys get a love reading, make sure you check your Venus placement because your message might actually be there, right? Okay, so Capricorn, man, your cards are, wow, jumping right out. Soulmate, I love that. Okay, let's get a couple more for you, Capricorn. <gasps> New love. There's some resistance there. I feel like I want to tell you give love a chance there. Let me see. We'll get some clarifiers too in a second. Let's look at where you're going. Okay. Very soon chemistry. Okay. You can only fight it for so long, right? Let's look at their side. We're dealing with two people? Let me see. Hmm. Children. I think there's a lesson though. Calling in your soulmate. There's that soulmate again. And where we go? Ah, that's like higher self work. Getting to know each other. We're up some tarot. But I'm saying like Whatever this is, this is what it kind of feels like. And I'll get the tarot, like I said, to clarify. But there's somebody you meet. I can't tell if this is the past or not. And either you're with them and it didn't work out that well. And so it feels like a lost cause to you, like the relationship. However, it might not be your type because it feels like you'd only fight it for so long. Maybe both of you. There's a way more masculine energy on their side. But it's interesting because it ends with getting to know each other. That's the chemistry very soon. That almost feels like where your story starts, right? That's the future energies because it feels like maybe we have to start over. So that's why I was like, if this is somebody from the past coming back, you guys literally have to start over, forget the past, and get to know each other again. <laughs> However, if it is um, somebody you are friends with and you're crossing that threshold, you really have to get to know each other on a different level because... Once you're like romantic with somebody, you see a whole other side of them. It's different than just, oh, we're best friends, we're buddies, right? So however that part pertains to you, there is this new, I, like, I came, I came to acceptance of this energy, whether that's we're no longer friends, we're gonna be lovers, or I'm getting back to, together with my ex, the one I thought I'd never get back together with. There is an acceptance energy. However, yeah. Your future energy is the fresh start. Well, let's pull some tarot, too. On your side, first cap. Ooh, that was an ace peeking out. I saw it. I didn't quite jump, though. Okay. Queen of Emotions. There we go. The star. Yeah, you don't know it yet, but this could be the one may not have some emotions in the beginning, right? Because either, like, it's the one I'd never get back with, or it's, wow, we were friends for so long, like, I never thought we'd cross that threshold. Let's see. Because there's almost, like, a best friend energy I'm feeling. Let's look at where you're at. Something flips, something flips. The Emperor. There's that masculine energy. on their side but it's interesting it's very much oh it's coming through in the last one some of these readings feel like they're bleeding together um it's almost like bull the Taurus eight of inspiration um with another queen okay on the bottom interesting because you had the queen of emotions in the the past okay let me look at their side have an emotions, choice to make, free will, I don't know what to do, right? Almost at this crossroad. Do we cross the threshold? 
are we really gonna do this? Because you can't go back, right? That's what it feels like. If you're going from friends to like lovers, it's like, well, what if it doesn't work out? Are we gonna ruin this friendship? The Empress. <gasps> Holy freaking Moses, wow. The Emperor and the Empress are the strongest match in the whole deck. They are stronger than any king and queen. That's why I'm like, this is a match, but you guys are like best friends. And you actually, even though you guys might be scared across that threshold, um, because you're doing it this way and you guys were friends first, it's going to build for a really strong foundation in the relationship. You guys both have that card in your present energy. That's uh, best friends, right? I love that. That you, you don't have anything to worry about. You guys will be fine. That's, just, like I said, the strongest match. So let's look at the future on their side. Six of voices. That's interesting because both of you... You have the Eight of Inspiration, and they have Six of Voices in the future. I want to look at the shared energy because everything I'm feeling lines up with the cards they're saying. However, these two cards are kind of sticking out like sore thumbs, and I'm like, we need some more information. Let's look at the shared energy and the connection. Okay. Five of Materials. That's some healing energy. Okay, you both have had to go through. General speaking, right? We've all been through past pain and hurt and trauma. Oh, it just got really dark. At least on my end. Half the time what I see though and I go to like upload it, I'm like, oh, it really wasn't that bad. The shade, right? The sun's going in and out. And I'm all in the sun. I'm not even under any trees today. Okay. Let's see. Presently, what's going on with the energy between you two? The tower, but it came out upside down. Oh, there's that flipping things back around. I like that. Let's look at where we're going in the shared energy. The devil. There's a watch out energy with that though. That's um, I don't think it's that you guys are too alike, but you guys might push each other's buttons. That's what it is. Because you guys have been friends for so long, you kind of know what each other ticks, but you know what each other likes. I think that's, oh, that's what that is. I think there's a little bit of a struggle making the adjustment from friends to lovers because how do we act? What do you mean? Oh, this is weird. Yeah, I have the feelings, but I, uh, there's still some kind of like uncomfortableness. Um, oh, something came out. Night of emotions, two of materials. That's the second two. Oh, it's at the bottom of the deck. Oh no. Yeah. Um, there's still kind of this uncomfortableness. Like, I don't know if it's one or both of you. One or, you both have the feelings, right? But one or both of you is definitely like, ah, oh, I can't do this, we're just friends. And they've kind of held back. That feels like a masculine energy, right? It doesn't have to be the male. However, because um, we all have masculine and feminine within us. Okay, I set the deck down. Because we have the Ten of Emotions, Page of Voices, Eight of Voices. Upside down, though, I like that. Okay, that's the second night. Because, oh no, Page of Night. Um, as much as they want this, they're like running scared. This is that masculine energy, right? So they're scared to cross the threshold. However, there is this awkward feeling like, I have to hold your hand, I have to lay with you. As much as, no, that kind of feels feminine. I just want to like shake the feminine and be like, you know what you're thinking, you know what you're feeling, so why are, because the masculine's scared, the feminine's like, this is weird, this is weird. This is weird, like I have to see you naked, this is weird. <laughs> you know, there's an attraction. I think once you guys get through that, because that's that like pulling back energy, it was feeling like, I, you fight through it, you push through it. That was your side, and on their side, uh, was it the devil, where was it? The six of voices. They kind of have to like be pushed to jump. It's almost like the fool energy. That's why I was glad that I got some more cards. This is more the devil with that was, um, yeah, you really guys have to get to know each other again on a different level, like I was saying. However, just let things go. Uh, you guys know how to irk each other. You guys know how to make each other laugh. You guys know almost too much about each other. Use that to your advantage. Don't let that be something that causes a fight, right? You should know when to walk away. You should know when to not say something. You should know better because you know this person so well. Like I said, that devil is coming in as like that cautionary, right? Um, I think once you guys get past the first kind of like 
month or two. It's the first turtle, right? It could be the first couple months, but um, I think the, I'm hearing two. Oh, there's a couple twos. Yeah, like maybe the second month or maybe after the second month, things will be okay because things kind of level out between you guys. However, it's really, it's there's this adjustment period when you guys go from friends to lovers. One's scared and one's like, uh, this is awkward, uncomfortable. And they're like, my head's telling me this, my heart's telling me this. Like, just, it's almost like just close your eyes and kiss, right? Just follow your heart. It'll be okay, you know? And I think the more you guys, like, interact and are affectionate, it's fine. But, yeah, no, that this is a, this is a good relationship because you guys are friends first. So, you get out of the uncomfortableness and the rest of the relationship seems, seem, it feels okay. At least where it's at today, it feels really okay after that. So, yeah. Okay. All right, Capricorn, we will wrap up your reading right there. If you got anything on this reading, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. This way I know you got something and it resonated. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Oh, something's crawling on me. <laughs> Startles me. <laughs> make sure that subscribe button, there's a bell right next to you. You want to the bell and turn on all notifications because I do daily videos and I don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages. That next message just might be the message that you need to hear today. Okay, Capricorn, thanks so much for watching. Be blessed.